So as many of you might know, I ended up getting police knots in my most recent box that I imported from Japan. In case you missed that video, there will be a card in the description. But uh, anyway, the first order of business here is to translate this game. There is a fan translation out there uh, to be able to play the game in English. So this will be a how-to to translate the game into English. Okay, now that the game's in the drive, I'm going to go ahead and take you guys into the computer. So let's go ahead and translate her into the computer screen. So I'm not going to spend too much time in getting into the ripping process, I've previously done a video on that, so that's going to be in the card above. But step one is to rip all three discs to your hard drive. Now that the games are all ripped, we're going to head over to policenots.net and we're gonna go ahead and start downloading the patches. So at the top you'll click patch and then click patch 1.01. This should start the download process. The download is really small at only 2.4 megabytes. Now that the files are all downloaded, it's time to unzip them. For my own sake, I've unzipped them to the same location as where I've ripped all my games to. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up the readme file so we can go ahead and follow along in there. So taking a look at the instructions, we're on step number three, and step number three tells us to go ahead and download the ISO Buster. It's a free piece of software, and I've left a link to it in the description so you can more easily find it. Once that download's complete, let's go ahead and launch it. Okay, so this part can be a little bit tricky, but basically what we're going to want to do is double click on our .q sheet, which we've associated with ISO Buster. We're going to want to right click uh, where it says session one at the top left part of the screen, as you can see me doing. And then we're going to want to extract session one. There should be two contents in there um, <clears throat> to the same destination folder as where we currently have our ISO images. So you can go ahead and see me doing that here. And you can see ISO Buster extracting those files. Go ahead and repeat this step for all three disks. Okay, once ISO Buster's completed its uh, job and it's gone ahead and converted all of your .bin.qs to .isos, the next thing you want to do is rename your files. Um, <clears throat> and you want to rename them in the same fashion that I have in the description and you can see me doing here momentarily. Um, the key here is when you run the next part of the phase, they all have to be named in the exact same form and function so every so the X Delta program knows exactly what files to be looking at and which ones to be patching. Once you've got all the files renamed, it's time to download the XDelta program, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link for that in the description. So once you've downloaded this, you're going to want to go ahead and place it in the same folder as all of your ISOs and all of your other files that we've been working with at this time. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and put that there right now. Okay, now that you've copied over your XDelta EXE to the directory with all your ripped ISOs, we're going to double click on the patch.bat file and this will patch the ISOs for you. Um, you should, as you kind of see on my screen right now, you see it goes through each one, it's patching each of the ISOs, and in the end, assuming you don't get any errors, it should go ahead and say that it's complete. Once XDelta's finished up its work, you should be left with all new bin files. You want to use the Q files that were included with the initial patch and make sure that the modified bin files and the new Q files are all together in one file. 
we're going to go ahead and use Im image burn to go ahead and burn these to a disc for us. Uh, if you're not familiar how to do that, I've got a separate tutorial which will be linked up in the card so you can see exactly how to do it, but it's very simple. Uh, basically all you need to do is drag your Q file into image burn and it should automatically prompt to burn the disc for you. So we're going to go ahead and rinse and repeat this three times and hopefully we hear the nice jingle that image burn gives us when we have a successful burn. Now that that's all complete and all three discs are burned, it's time for my favorite part of the entire operation. Testing and playing the game. Do, 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 do. 